I'm really excited to share this one with you. In the past, I made a video showing you how to set up a live stream mix for your church with Reaper and all the technical stuff and buttons to press and things to do. And then I thought, okay, there's no one to actually mix the live stream. So I made another video showing you how to make Reaper automatically bring down the crowd mics and the reverb when they shouldn't be in the mix and then bring them up again when they should be in the mix using gates. And then I thought, Okay, the music sounds good, but when the pastor starts preaching, his voice sounds kind of quiet. It's not super quiet, but it's noticeably quieter than the worship time. And when I watched the live stream on my phone, I found myself turning up the volume. And so I thought, if I'm doing that, what about the people that are hard of hearing? Are they turning the volume all the way up and still not comfortably hearing what the preacher is saying. You might tell me the solution is pretty easy. Just turn up the fader of the preacher's mic. Yes, that would work if the preacher has a dedicated microphone just for him that nobody else is using. In my church, the worship leader uses that microphone and then after him comes the pastor to preach and he's using the same microphone. So someone needs to turn up that fader in the live stream during the service. But there's no one to do that. I just want the preacher's mic to get louder during the sermon and then during worship it gets back to normal volume. So then I realized that I can do that with a gate and it's a little bit confusing because it's not the conventional use of a gate so I'm just gonna walk you through what I did and how you can do it. In a previous video I showed you how I'm using a gate on the crowd mic microphones and the reverb and I'm sending the music signal to it all the instruments as a trigger so when the instruments play we hear the crowd and the reverb and when the instruments don't play they get muted what if we can use the same concept to turn up the level of the microphone instead of turning down the level of the microphone this is the microphones group all the microphones are in one group so I'll insert a plugin on that group and this will be the gate re gate how does reaper know that now it's time for the preacher it's when the instruments are not playing there's no sound coming from any instrument so on that gate that is on the microphone group I will go to the detector input and select auxiliary inputs and then I'll grab the routing button from the music group this is the group that all the instruments are in so I'm grabbing the routing button this little square and drag it into the gate now I created a send from that track from that group to the other group and let's just put it at zero for the sake of it I have a preference in Reaper to do the sends at minus 10 but let's just keep it at zero let's go to the microphones group and click on this little square that is a routing button and just make sure that it has the appropriate amount of channel for this case I don't need it to be more than four channels two for the signal of that group and the other two are for the side chain the other signal that is coming from the music group after that I'm gonna go back to the gate plugin and go to the in out right here and make sure that auxiliary left and right are assigned to track channel three and four that is correct routing and I'll just raise the threshold of the gate for it to work now what I've done is that I made the music to be the trigger that will open the gate so if the music is muted I don't have any sound coming from the microphones if it's on it opens the gate and the microphones come through but that's not what I'm trying to do so I'll go here and click on invert gate now when there is signal above threshold I don't have any sound and if the signal is below threshold I have sound so the gate is working the other way around and that's the wet signal so if I turn down the wet signal and turn up the dry signal dry slider gives me the signal as it is as if there's no gate and the wet slider is the volume of what that plugin is doing as long as the signal is above the threshold this wet slider is not doing anything so let me raise it up and then I'm gonna bring down the music so when the signal gets below the threshold this gets louder there's no music the microphone gets louder there is music it goes back to the original volume but that's still pretty abrupt it's very distracting to hear that sudden volume change so let's make it a little bit smoother I tried this and I found that if I turn the attack all the way up to 500 milliseconds and the hold also to 500 milliseconds and the release to 4000 milliseconds which is four seconds it sounds pretty smooth to me and the level offset I want to have between the music time and the preaching time time is 5 dB so I want the pastor microphone to get louder by 5 dB during the preaching so I'll go to the wet slider and type in plus 5 and now let's have a listen <laughs> Yes, 
It's a very smooth change of volume. It's not suddenly making it louder and then all of a sudden making it quieter. You don't notice it. It's very slow. Let me show you an example song and then sermon back to back so you can hear the difference. That's without it. That's with it. It's a much more consistent volume. If I'm watching this on my phone or your grandma is watching this on her phone, she doesn't have to turn up the volume knob. And now I can finally say that I have a good live stream mix that doesn't require anybody to mix it. It mixes itself. Because really, what's the most important things? You do the mix, but Things that you need always to change are crowd mics and reverb and the level of the preacher's mic compared to the music. And now I have all these things automatically done in Reaper. It's great. Good job. Good job. I'll let you download the template file that I'm using for my church live stream. You can use it as a starting point if you're just getting into mixing your live stream on computer or you can just take the tricks that I showed you and put them in your template. Let's do a quick recap. I'm going to put a gate on the group of the microphones and make sure to invert the gate so it becomes a docker. Change the detector input to auxiliary inputs. Grab the music group routing button and drag it onto the gate and make sure that it's going on channels three and four and go to the routing button of that microphone group and make sure that it's only four channels, not six. In the gate plugin, go to the in out and assign channel track three and four to auxiliary auxiliary left and right and raise threshold to minus 40 and the attack all the way up to 500 milliseconds hold 500 milliseconds and release 4000 milliseconds and bring up the dry signal to zero and the wet signal to plus five and that's it if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and click on the video on the screen right now and I'll see you there.